Despite what tabloids may say, there is no sight of dramatic reshoots of the Marvels. Only last week, Brie was at Tennessee, Tejona was very pregnant at home, and Ayman was in Europe. So, no sight of such reshoots at all. Hello, this is Joe Cool for Brie Larson Worldwide, and today I want to talk to you about what's behind all this uh, delay in the Marvels. Well, as this screen run article explains, the solution might be just in the special effects. Marvel Studios has, has recently came on the fire for its poor CGI practices, but the Marvels may be amending these issues. Certain Phase 4 titles, especially the Disney Plus She-Hulk Attorney at Law, received heavy criticism for what some deem to be subpar CGI. This issue only worsened it as news broke that the animators behind Marvel's effects were underpaid, overworked, and held to unreasonable deadlines to accommodate the franchise's increasingly populated slate. Marvel indicated that it will address the serious behind-the-scenes issues in Phase 5 and beyond. The Marvel's recent delay appears to be the first step in fixing the MCU's increasingly problematic CGI difficulties. The Marvel's delay came only five months before its original release, well after principal photography for the film reached its end. While some of Marvel's recent films, including Quantum Mania, experienced reshoots as late as one month before the release, it is more likely that the Marvel's is being pushed back to allow more time for its CGI to be completed. The highly anticipated film is certain to be filled with CGI to accommodate for its space-based setting and the massively powerful superheroes therein. By pushing back the release date, Marvel seems to be committing to delivering quality films even if it means taking a bit longer to complete each project. While the Marvel's delay is ultimately a good sign for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it may also indicate that other Phase 5 projects will be delayed as well. Currently, Phase 5 is slated to include two additional films after the Marvels, with Captain America New World Order set to hit theaters in May of 2024 and Thunderbolts premiering two months later in July. Given the generally terrestrial nature of both films, each may have a better chance of making their original release dates than the Marvels, though delays certainly can be ruled out, especially as each film approaches the production stage within the next several months. As the Marvel's upcoming films may be looking at delays in the coming years, it is the MCU's Disney Plus titles that are more heavily impacted by the franchise's new direction. Marvel Studios is evidently adopting a new release plan for Disney Plus MCU series, lowering the number of shows released on the platform each year. Secret Invasion, Agatha Coven of Chaos, Loki Season 2, Echo, and Ironheart were all once believed to be premiering in 2023. Now, only Secret Invasion and Loki are sure bets, with the other expected to be premiered in 2024. The delay of the Marvels may only be the first of many postponed MCU titles to come. So what do you think, folks? Please let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. This was Joe Cool for Brie Larson Worldwide. Keep loving Brie.